What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video your girl is here to bring you guys um, a video that everybody tends to do where they do their um, goals and their expectations and all of that for not only their channel but also for their makeup purchasing. So if you're interested in hearing my version of this video then just keep watching. <laughs> So as you guys know, I am on a no buy when it comes to makeup. I have not broken that no buy as of to date and it is just one day shy of a month. I believe I started on November 4th. Um, I haven't broken it at all. I've actually felt really secure in this no buy thus far. Um, and I of course will be giving you guys an update in two more months. Um, but that is kind of my expectation for the year. Um, I really want to do a no, no buy. I will be doing of course replacements. I'm not going to just like not have a product. I just realized I never put mascara on. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I'm not gonna like not not buy any makeup. So that's pretty much my expectation when it comes to makeup purchasing, replacement only. I have been trying to get myself to use other products that I didn't think of being able to use in that mindset so that I can get more use out of products overall and buy less stuff, um, such as my eyeliner. Right now I have a really nasty eyeliner. Um, it's actually a felt tip, um, but I'm using it because it's something that I have in my collection and I don't wanna just declutter it or give it to somebody else when I can personally use it. Um, I'm gonna be going through all of my travel mascaras. I I did actually already purchase some mascaras um, before my no buy started but I'm just really going to try my best to get use out of everything before I buy something new um, as long as I can help it. Uh, when it comes to my channel I just want to have fun. I really just want to have fun guys. Um, I feel like sometimes I have so many like goals, so many like videos that I have to turn out every month that I limit my creativity for that month. Um, and so I'm going to do my best to really finish out some of those videos this year. Like my YouTuber, Recreating YouTuber, I've already have one person I've already asked and they've okayed it, waiting um, for me to really just do the video. Um, but I think I need a couple more so I'm going to look um, to make sure how many I've already done. I want to at least get 12 done by the end of this year. Um, and then like just close out all of my project pans. Um, but next year I don't really want to be an actual I don't want to actually do project pans. I do want to work on getting through products. I do want to understand my products a lot more than I do even now. Um, but it's going to be different. I don't want to give too much away because I will be doing kind of an intro video in January at some point. Um, but yeah, I do really just want to get some more use out of my collection. For my actual channel, um, I do want to stick to doing swatching videos, doing really... Um, what is it called? Those um, reference videos. I really want to do reference videos. I think those are really helpful for not only me but you guys. Like when I can go back and see all the swatches of my Sydney Gray singles, I know sis you don't need it and that'll be helpful. I do think I want to incorporate some nail polish videos um, so do let me know if you guys really really are interested. If you if I get enough people who say they aren't interested then I won't but if I don't get anybody who comments I probably will do at least one or two kind of nail swatching videos. I've been really intrigued by those and I feel like they work with my overall video aesthetic where it could be very calm very relaxing where you can put it on in the background and just hear my voice and every so often look up to see whatever the nail polish color is so I feel like that'll actually match my personal video aesthetic um, I will be doing tutorials I do tutorials now but I'll be doing tutorials with palettes obviously that I already have with products I already have in my collection so if there's anything that you know I have in my collection and you want me to do a tutorial just let me know I'll be aiming to do a lot more multi-look um videos uh I've been cranking out these pretty quickly um and this 
couple these last couple of months um i will be having an already a uh, five looks one palette with my moon spell palette from lunar beauty i'm currently in the middle of my 10 looks one palette with my norvina volume 3 palette um i think i have i have my um caladios palette that i need to do some looks with as well so these will really be churning out quite quickly um and i'm very very happy about that um what other videos any other referencing videos that you guys want just let me know um i can try and do some duping videos i hope hope wait hope that i don't have too too many dupes in my collection i've been trying to really mediate that um but like as you guys saw in my lip products i have dupes i know it in my singles i know i have dupes so i definitely can do that i can do more like this is my um my perfect palette which i am excited to do those those actually get pretty good um hits because i think you guys are actually interested in those so i'm excited for those um i did do create my own um single single pan single shadow palettes um so i can do some looks with those that'll be exciting and yeah i'm just kind of overall excited overall i'm gonna be doing some more uh strategic post on my instagram as well i think i've kind of created my own little rhythm where i'll be doing makeup looks um nail polish swatches swatches on eyeshadow palettes and some books and some travel photos i'm going to be kind of mixing all five of those different genres to create um posts for you guys so i'm excited about that i have sort of revived my pinterest so if you guys are interested in following me it is literally just my name makeup and travel um a lot of my boards are private but i think i have right now two boards that are active and accessible for you guys um if you're interested um what else i am pretty active on my um what is that called reddit so if you guys want to follow me on there i'm pretty sure my reddit is makeup and travel as well if it's not i will have it on the screen um but i just want to be active in that oh ooh, and i also have been reviving my blog so i've been dedicating myself to get one video or one post up a week where i have swatches of a palette and i review the palette i've been aiming to try and do a palette that i've already done a review and looks on my youtube so i can send you guys back over to here but yeah i'm aiming to just kind of overall just do pretty good on my social media while of course balancing my full-time job and my full-time schooling um and also my addiction to watching movies and reading books so i am gonna stay busy this year i cannot wait um well in 2020 or 2020 um i can't wait i hope you guys are excited as i am your girl is hungry so i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna go challenge some food hopefully i hope i have something it'll be my luck i hope you guys have been enjoying this bnb miss um thus far let me know um if you are let me know if you aren't i would love to know if you guys kind of don't like seeing this much videos from me definitely let me know oh another thing um as of this month or this year i've been going back and forth between like three to five videos a week let me know how many videos you guys would like to see from me each week um I definitely go, won't go any lower than three but if you guys want me to try and actually strive to get five videos pushed out to you guys every week just let me know it'll be a little difficult because i won't be bringing in new products and i don't get pr um which i'm not mad at i just don't um so i will be focusing on using these older products so yeah just let me know um and we will see how it goes so yeah as always y'all it has been real peace